what's going on guys how's it going and yeah this is exactly what it looks like and you read the description it is clash royale my lord what have what have the times become we're now on mobile but uh yeah really excited to be hopping into this new season just started season two just started uh my trophies just got reset down uh i dropped about almost a thousand trophies not not quite a thousand but almost a thousand but uh yeah right before we open the rest of this video guys if you are new here consider subscribing down below and let me a like so let's hop right into the video okay so first off i would like to buy the gold pass real quick like so let's take a look at the gold pass real quick um last season it was pretty cool just because it was new and all but i kind of want something different i want them to kind of fix it up a little bit to where maybe there's more tiers or well preferably i'd like more tiers because i maxed it out with about two weeks left and just kind of ran out of things to do to be honest but uh there's not two legendary chests two legendary chests down at the bottom of seven strikes each this season it uh they kind of turned that down how good the end the very last tier is do got a tower skin it's not bad i kind of like the fish tank skin a little bit better to be honest but overall not that bad we got a few emotes another legendary chest and just some other stuff all right we're all set there so let's head on over to wall breakers island dash i've heard some crazy stories about this and i'm really excited to start playing that but real quick i want to go over uh my deck that this is my deck this is the only deck i use right here and uh it's kind of a hog hog swarm deck but i've upgraded everything in this pretty much max and this is by far my strongest deck just because everything in its max i really know how to use it well so uh yeah that's the deck that i've been using um, currently, when I get to 20,000 gold, I'm upgrade Rule Giant because it is so, so strong. Rule Giant is very strong, and I don't know how good the Lumberjack and the Valkyrie is now just because of the nerf that I think the nerf, I think they've actually nerfed it already. I'm not really sure, but, uh, I don't know. They need to anyway. So, let's hop right into the Wallbreaker Island Dash real quick. All right, we're going to take the Knight. Let's go in here. I'm going to take the Goblin Gang. Mm, the Earthquake's really bad. And I'll take Arrows. Alrighty. So, not bad. We kind of left him with a weird matchup. Alright, kind of pop my neck, get loose here. Okay, so Wallbreakers are going to spawn in the back, and as time goes on, more of them will spawn. So that's really cool. That is really, really cool. I can't wait to see what happens with me having wall breakers in my actual deck. I can't wait to see what actually happens, so I uh, will do that. Get rid of those. Let's see if we can put that down. Switch to something that has a uh, those wall breakers over there to see if they can get any more damage off. Gonna arrow that. It's not gonna get off in time. But we're gonna get a lot of damage off anyway. Let's go ahead and put down that ice golem. Tank some of the damage, hopefully. We're gonna have to worry about these guys over here. We're gonna go ahead and barbarian barrel those. Okay, this is insane. This is absol oh my gosh, now there's four. Are you kidding me? We're gonna put two more in there. We're gonna arrow that, put that down right there. That's going to be a tower for both of us right there, and he's going to get a lot of damage off on me. That is insane. This is actually insane. Uh, we're going to log, I mean barbarian barrel that, my bad. Those are going to get a lot of damage off. Let's see, I'm going to save the knot. More of them incoming. My lord. What on earth? has happened what has this game become my lord holy cow all right so we're gonna put that down we're gonna do barbarian barrel real quick like get some of that damage off the let's see that's another tower for us right there we're gonna go ahead and put down an ice golem as defense and this is getting insane guys what how what did they max at did they just keep going? How many can I have? We're just going to go straight out the fence right here and just put down as much stuff as we can to uh, tank. 
I'm going to put down a knot right there just to get rid of the imminent. That actually might be game. That is game. Okay, wow. Okay. First match in the new game mode, and we got that win pretty quick, so that's really nice. There we go. We're going to do this. Alrighty now, so, and one thing I think has to be done that I probably should have done sooner. <sighs> Guys, I think it has to happen. I really think it does. I think it's time for Viper Snag. And finalized. Name has been changed. Viper Snag YT. There we go. So let's go up into another match super quick like. Oh, Lord. I feel like Wallbreaker is going to be funner than a hog. I'm going to go for the hog just because I really, really love him. Minion Horde, definitely. We're going to go for Dark Goblin, and that's a tough one. I think I'm going to go for Mega Minion, just because I need something that can dish out some higher damage. All right, so what do we got here? Got Barbarian Barrel. That's really nice to get rid of those. That's really helpful for getting rid of those. Um, I can counter his bowler pretty easily with my Minion Horde, so that's really nice for that. All right, let's see. Roll recruits. They need to be better than they are, to be honest, in my opinion. But they'll get the job done. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Let's see if we can get this hog out here to where... All right, they got two shots off. We're going to go and bar barrel that, get rid of those. Let's see. We're getting a lot of damage off of the roll recruits. We're getting a lot of damage off of those guys. And two wall breakers on the left side going to get off. That's going to be almost two towers gone for us. Okay. I'm actually kind of liking this, to be honest. We're doing pretty dang good, too. Maybe that's why I like it. Who knows, to be honest. All right. He has gotten us down to about half health on one tower, and we have about taken two towers. So we're looking pretty good. Not going to lie. Of course, he would play those. World Recruit should be able to take those guys out without any issues. That's going to be a tower for us. Another tower about to go down on the right side. That giant was a very clutch move right there. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and Barbarian Barrel that because I'm wasting Elixir. Put down a Minion Horde to get rid of that Skarmy. Going to put a Hog right there. We're going to put a Ice Skull in the tank. We are coming in hot. Let's see. Barbarian... We get that Barbarian Barrel on the tower. Mega Minion coming in behind. And if we can just get those Wall Breakers in, that should be game. That is game. GG, my guy. And do a little emote stuff there. I need to get the new emotes. I need to start my grinding. Alrighty, so there's a thousand gold. That's exactly what I needed. So let's go over here. Since Rule Giant seems to be incredibly overpowered right now, and everybody's using that and the Valkyrie, I'm upgrading the Valkyrie, the Wizard, the RG. So let's go ahead and take this guy to level 11. And 50,000 will take him to 12. And we do have enough cards for that, so it's really nice. We'll get into uh, grinding on the trophies on the ladder here in a little bit, probably in the next video. But uh, yeah, I'm hopefully going to be making 6,000 trophies this season. That is my goal. If we look right in here... My all-time high is about 5,500. Yeah, house trophy is 5,674. My goal this season is to make it all the way to 6,000 trophies. That is my ultimate goal. Let's go ahead and grab some of this stuff. Get some of that loot. Some of these cards in here. I'll take that guy. I'll take Goblin. Um, Skarmy. That's what I was betting on because that's what I needed it was a Skarmy. Take the fisherman, he is horrible. Snag the gold. And yeah, we're almost in the Masters 1. Need to start grinding on that. Let's go in and do one more Wallbreaker Mayhem. Just get another one in. Um, I think I'm going to go Mega Minion, just because it's a little bit cheaper. RG. Giant versus Rule Giant, there's no debating, it's just better. Um, I'm not going to go Graveyard because it's very easily countered. Especially with some of the cards that I have. The Mega Minion and the Dark Goblin can be really good for countering that. Mega Minion can dish out a lot of damage, which can really do, really work away on that giant's health. The only issue is that, you know what, let's just put that down start of the match. See what he wants to do. 
see what he's going to do with that. Uh, wall breakers, both of those are going to get in. That's not going to be a good time for us. Oh, buddy. We are not doing that well here. Okay. I'm going to put in a dark goblin. Yep, probably putting that RG on the bridge is going to be the death of us. RG on the bridge was not a smart move. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's calm down real quick. We kind of jumped right into that. Uh, let's put a furnace down and get rid of those wall breakers. There we go. Alright, let's calm down. Think about what we're doing. Because we've rushed into that. Alright. We're going to put down, wait just a second to put down this guy up here on these wall breakers. Get rid of those. Go ahead. About to put down another furnace if I can. Actually, let's put a roll giant down. It's kind of delayed, but I think it should work out pretty good. Let's go ahead and zap those. Get rid of them. We're getting a lot of damage off. If they can ever make it to the tower, RG keeps getting zapped. All right, we're going to put down a furnace. We're going to put down... Dark Goblin, Spear Goblins, Absolute Goblin Rush, we need this guy up here, oh that's going to be the tower, that's going to be the tower, we need to defend and try to keep it from being in the full game, alright, so, his towers are on very low health, they're on very low health, we just need to work our way in there, we just need to work. Ah, he keeps putting down the tombstone. I thought it wasn't going to be a good move to have the tombstone, but I'm wishing I had it now. We need to zap those, so hopefully they can all die before they go off. No, they can't, unfortunately. Put down a furnace on the bridge. That should hopefully make it in. That's going to be tower trade for both of us. Oh, buddy. I need to stop racing elixir out here. Put down another RG. We're going to put down some wall breakers. Let's go all out. All out push. Zap on the zappies. That should be game. Come on. That should be game. Yes. Thank you. Holy crap. That's a GG, man. That's a good game. That was crazy. That was absolutely insane. I can go ahead and fly through these real quick. Holy ma crap, <laughs> that is insane. That is actually really fun. Uh, I've got a, ooh, okay. Speaking of wall breakers, um, I'm gonna go for Skarmy. Yeah, I didn't get Skarmy, but that's fine. Kinda get, fly through this real quick. Um, there's no commons I need besides ARG and Execution is really good and Valkyrie is really good, so I'll just keep it. I might just keep the zap so I get some gold. There we go. Let's see. Yep, we got a good ways to go before we get to the new emote, which is like a pirate, looks like. And the new tower skin is going to be way down here like it was last season. There it is. Looks like a little sand castle. But, uh, yeah, thanks for today's episode, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.